Deep in Gnome Land, Scarecrow must guess which of these ornaments is the Prince of Ev, while Dorothy waits anxiously with the Gnome King. <laughs> hey, what's the matter? Don't you like my game? Just because all your friends have lost except Old Straw Hat, don't give up hope. It'll be your turn once he's bungled it. <laughs> and once you've touched the wrong one, my spell will turn you into an ornament like all of them. Then my beautiful collection will be bigger, and all of that fun! Sure I'm glad you came to rescue the Prince of Ev. Five new ornaments in one day isn't bad. Hmm. Well, let's see. Come on, Brain, think. Hmm. It doesn't help having that sneaky Lord Calico watching me like a hawk. You can come out. I know you're up there. No thanks, I'll stay put. I'm hiding. Fine, stay there. I don't want you near me anyway. I don't know how, but I'm sure you made the others lose. I had nothing to do with the fate of your friends. Nothing. They thought they knew which ornament was the Prince of Ev, and they were wrong. Oh, well, I'm not going to be wrong. You see, I'm specially equipped. I have a superior brain to help me find the Prince. You're going to need more than that, my friend. You're going to need some expert advice from someone like me who knows the collection. What do you say? Shall I give you a few highly revealing clues? Well, I don't know. I suppose I do need help. There's so many ornaments to choose from. I can't figure out just where I should start. I mean, the prince could be one of these pots for all I know. Oh dear, whatever shall I do? My brain's all fuddled. <laughs> He's supposed to be smart. Sounds to me like our little game is already too much for him. Now let me see. When a prince is under a spell, I suppose he'd turn into something regal. Something really high class, like a crown studded with jewels. Mm -hmm. Or maybe something simple and elegant. I bet this is the prince right here. Mm -hmm. A jar of classic proportions, always in good taste. Yes, I'll try this one. I'm sure it's the Prince of Ev. No, please don't. Hmm? Why not? That's such a boring looking object. It couldn't be the prince. Oh, so that's it. If the object is plain and simple, it couldn't be the prince, right? Because the prince is royal and fancy and not simple. Of course, you could be uh, lying. Are you? Oh, I'm not lying to you. I can assure you the prince is a lot fancier than that thing. <laughs> I see. So this simple jar can't possibly be the royal prince of Ev. Then again, it might just be if you don't want me to touch it, it's probably the right one. I'll just give it a try. Keep your hands off it. But why? You're not playing right. You shouldn't choose the first thing you see. Why should I? Because the king... The king what? Because the king likes it better if you move around more. Consider a lot of possibilities. Move around more, huh? That's right. Move, look worried, act scared, run around. I have to report this to the king. Hmm, I see. The king not only expects us to lose, but wants to hear about it, too. That's right. Now just go over there and look around at the more interesting kinds of objects, okay? Hmm, now let me see. Where could he be? A picture frame. That might be him. Princes usually have their portraits framed. The prince wouldn't be turned into an empty old picture frame. Hmm. All right, I'll look around some more. A handy cabinet for keeping things in? Maybe that's the prince. I hear he's very organized. A prince in a kitchen cupboard? How about a bed or a table, a chair, maybe a stool? No, none of that. Oh, furniture. And if you don't take my advice, I'll give you a bonus. You will? If you don't find the prince, I'll see you turn into whatever you choose. Gee, thanks a lot. Well, you don't want to be something dumb. This is forever. Makes a lot of sense. I'll never find the prince anyway, so I might as well become something nice. That's a spirit. You certainly are the brains of the bunch. If only Tin Man and a Lion had been reasonable. I could have arranged exactly the same deal for them. Oh, I'm reasonable. I'm gonna find something very nice to become. That three-legged umbrella stand is interesting, but no. The king should get a really extraordinary ornament. Boy, there's so much stuff to choose from. A teapot? A weather vane? Nah, a goldfish bowl. <laughs> Gosh, it's so hard to choose. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, ho. Yeah. Ah. Maybe one of these. What do you think, Lord Calico? Good. The king loves swans. Can't get enough of them. Hey, 
I'm sure he'd be tickled pink if you became another swamp. I'd look so graceful, and maybe sometimes the king would take me for a swim. Then again, a cute little puppy would be fun to play with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Hey, gosh, look at this cap. Wow, how about that? Ah, great. Ooh, a giraffe. Now that's different. Oh, goodness me, an alligator. No, too scary. I, I should be cuter. Yeah, sure, cute. Good idea. So pick any of them. They're all excellent choices. What are you waiting for? Say, this is nice. How about if I turn into a deer? I'd love that. Great. Touch it. Touch it. Good choice. Okay, I'll do it. Well, say goodbye to Dorothy for me. Here goes. Good. Fine. a boy. Touch it. I hope you'll set me up in a prominent place. Sure, sure. Anything you say. Touch it now. Go ahead. I wonder if this is the best I can become. Hmm. What do you think, Lord Calico? Great, touch it! Gosh, I don't know. Look at all those great things over there. Wow! Mm -hmm. No, no, wait! Now there's something I'd love to be... I... It looks awful familiar. That couldn't be Lion, could it? Uh, impossible! How do you know that, you beat? No, the king told us. Remember? He couldn't help bragging about how he outsmarted Lion. He had a big laugh about it. Lion was using his sense of smell to find the prince, so I bet you anything he's around here someplace. But if he got this far, why'd he suddenly lose the scent and touch the wrong ornament? Unless, of course, he happened to be tricked. Now, who would have done such a thing? Uh, listen, uh, believe it or not, the lion tripped and fell against an ornament. Quiet, let me think. If Lion was following his nose, then the prince has to be around here. I know that much. Now, which of these things is the prince? This elephant? No, too big. This mouse? Mm, too small. Oh, get away from there! Please, you're making me nervous. Oh, I'm going to fall! Ah! Well, I must be on to something if Calico's joining me. <laughs> Wait! It is a nice elephant, though. Touch it. Okay, please. Elephant's an excellent choice. Pick it. I'm sure he's the one. So big. It certainly is an impressive-looking creature, I have to admit. But so are some of the others. Yeah. I thought you liked the elephant. I do, I do. But, wow, look at uh, those over there. But if you were an elephant, the king would be so pleased. I think I'll just take my time deciding what to become. After all, I'll be standing around forever and ever. I won't be able to change my mind. What's the problem? You won't have a mind to change. So I'll choose carefully. Mm. Oh, look at oh, that. Please, wow. touch the elephant. It will make my job so much easier. Hmm. Hey, now, look at this tiger. I'd love to turn into this. Would it make the king happy if I did? Uh, I'll lose my head if he touches that. Calico, anything wrong? You sound upset. Uh, hmm? I'm begging you. Try and find another ornament. Hmm? Oh, you mean you'd rather I didn't touch this tiger? Yes, exactly. Is it because there's more interesting stuff around? That's right. Much more interesting than that little old tiger. Like over there. Gee, I don't know. This is such a fascinating work of art. I'm tempted to touch it. Always wanted to be a cat. Why not? I can keep lying company. Here it goes. Yeah, this stop! Leave it alone! Whoop, gosh, I'm doing it wrong, huh? Should I use one hand instead of two? Whoa! This is too small! You should be something bigger! Aw, uh, but it looks awfully cute and cuddly. It's not, it's ugly! Oh? You deserve to be grander, more elegant, this is nothing! How considerate of you, Calico. Don't thank me. Just find something else to touch. Oh, no. I found what I'm looking for. There's absolutely no need to look further. You know what I mean? How come you're smiling? <laughs> because I'm about to win the game, my friend. You see, I know now where to find the prince. You do? Mm, you forget that I have a special first-class brain, and your advice led me to the prince. <laughs> Not me! I never told you where he was! Well, you didn't mean to, but the tiger's the only object you didn't want me to touch, so it must be him! You're cheating! You're not playing fair! <laughs> now, when I touch the prince, that should break the spells Tin Man, Line, and TikTok are under, too! Oh, gotta stop him! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha!
That was too close for comfort. The king would have had me boiled in love if he'd won. Actually, he did find me nice oh. and came unpleasantly close to bringing him to life. I managed to stop him in the nick of time, though. <laughs> Good thing you did, Calico, or you would have regretted it. Yes, sire, I'm aware of that. <laughs> just one more, and she should be the easiest of the lot. After all, she's just a child, should be a pushover. <laughs> Special pistols for your new victims. God, wonderful! I <laughs> can't wait to see them on display in all their glory. Thought they could beat me at my own game. One more left, sir. Ah, she'll be a piece of cake. I wonder how she's doing in there anyway. What do you say we take a little pig, Calico? Yahoo! Yeah. Come on, Calico, don't want to miss it. How do you say that? Wonder what she'll turn into. I could use another lizard, but I don't think that's her style. Well, here we are. Let's see what she's up to. Shh, let's have a listen first. See if we hear her moving around. If she isn't, maybe she's already an ornament. Hmm, very clever deduction. I just... Shh, I can hear her calling somebody. Think she found the prince? I doubt it. She's probably calling her friends. <laughs> <laughs> she is calling her friends. <laughs> As if an ornament could talk. <laughs> She's more fun than I thought she'd be, Calico. <laughs> I know you're in here. Please answer me. Yes, it's me. I'm over here. What's going on? <laughs> She's the 
Don't make a fool. You left her alone and she found him. You're in deep trouble, Calico. <laughs> Don't want to be boiled in lava. Come on, look for her. Yes, this is a... <laughs> well, where is she? I'll keep looking. Keep looking. Yoo-hoo, Prince. Princess, is that you? Dorothy, hello. Ooh. Here I am. Where, Princess? Over here. Come on. Prince, she's talking to him. Calico, come back here. Tell me what is it? The Prince, check the Prince. You heard the prince that speaks, huh? I think so. We gotta see if that tiger ornament's still in its place. But, sire, if you heard him speak, he can't be there. Fool, this might just be a sneaky trick. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's supposed to be around here somewhere, right? <laughs> gotta go. Look, he's here, and he's still a tiger, too. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. You were right, sire. She's playing a little game of some sort. Yes. Be right with you, Prince. <gasps> but you'll have to call out again. Mm. I still can't find you. Dorothy, over here. Yoo-hoo. Oh, I see you. Come and release me. Right. <laughs> That's it. You're close now. What's going on? Who's she talking to? Who? A Dorothy. Surprise, Your Majesty. Thanks for leading me straight to the prince. What? <gasps> oh. uh, princess, I finally found you. And now that I have, I can set you free. Ah, yeah. my most valuable prize of all. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, why isn't it changing? I won the game fair and square. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, you've broken my magic spell. Within a week, my whole collection will come back to life. I won't have anything to play with in this calico. Watch out! What? I remember that globe. It used to be a friend. Oh. First Lord Calico tricks Scarecrow into losing, then he tries to drop him on her head. Hmm. Oh, and to think all those days of fun-filled treachery are gone forever! <laughs> My spine. Dorothy, am I ever glad you found me. How do you feel, Scarecrow? Ooh, I better check. I'm a little bent out of shape in places, but other than that, I'm fine. What a mess! This game was a big mistake! <laughs> I'll never play again! Sounds like he's pretty upset about something. I'm sure he's saying some terrible things in Lion Talk about wanting to get even. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, it wasn't my fault. Yeah. I know it wasn't, but who you expect me to blame? Me? Uh, it's my fault I lost my collection, not yours, and you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> You okay? Uh-huh. Ah. I'm not gonna let him get away with this. Ah! Stop work, boys! We gotta crank this on our hands! I gotta get some outsiders who beat me in my own game! Ah. Whoa. Wake up now. Time to wake up. Hello, TikTok? What happened? Phew, what a strange dream I was having. Oh. Huh? Ooh. Yeah! Don't touch it! My ticker says that chair's bad news! Huh? <laughs> oh well, better late than never, TikTok. <laughs> Relax, TikTok. Yes, you're safe now. Thanks to Dorothy, she managed to break the Gnome King's spell. <sighs> Prince, there you are. How are you? Fine. Thank you, my loyal friend. And all of you, thanks. You've risked your lives in order to free me, and I'll never forget it. I had help, though. Three of the gnomes helped me find you. Who? Oh? My royal thanks to you as well. You're welcome, Your Majesty. It was a pleasure to help you. Wouldn't let 
let us leave this easily. I'm sure he's planning something mean. It's too quiet in here. Well, let's just keep moving toward the door. Tin Man is right. There's nothing else we can do. Scarecrow, come on! Now what? <gasps> the door. It was closed when they started up the stairs. Looks like the Gnome King isn't about to quit yet. 